This play is a play about a young, young man from Blackpool who wants to escape the kind of mundanity of it, the, um, the prospects of the dead-end job, the job centre, the, the working men's club, the British Legion, the grey mundanity of Blackpool. He wants to escape. Um, he, he is a poet. He writes poetry, which is his only form of escape but he's ashamed of that, so that's something that is, um, he uses for himself as a tool to get, I suppose, to offload how he feels about where he's from. Uh, the journey of the play, it follows him, it's very much 95% dialogue is his, uh, Carl, the character, and he runs and runs and runs to get rid of this deep rage that he feels. Um, without giving too much away, something happened to him as a young man which ripped the heart out of his world and out of his family and that is, has a big knock on in the play. Um, he then joins the army and he finds himself, he finds that uh, he belongs somewhere and he's cared for and he's loved and he's protected, I suppose, yeah, yeah. he's protected and... Um, he, 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 he enjoys being in that world of those boys with structure and uniformity and all the things that he feels like he was yearning for come true when he joins the army up until he has to go on tour and we then deal with the unfortunate and heartbreaking news that he gets post-traumatic stress disorder it's not a comment on the army, it's not a comment on Blackpool. It's a story about this one boy, and if it resonates with one 15-year-old from Blackpool, and that means that he doesn't, I don't want to get too political about this, but if it means that that boy doesn't go and have to join the army, then I think we've done our job. It's huge in its intensity, and its violence, and its aggression, and it's rage, and on the flip side of that, it's joy, and it's lightness, and it's tenderness. You watch the news, and, and Afghanistan started off at the top of the list, and now it's kind of, at the end of the list, someone died today, and there's other stuff that goes on before it, and it's kind of wrong, you know? Uh, but, um, yeah, so there's that notion that a, a war or a campaign has been forgotten, and in that, people have been forgotten. Um, and uh, also kind of, um, it wasn't an accident that I set it where I did in the first half of the play in Blackpool. You know, I'm not saying that Blackpool's been forgotten in any way, but I think um, coastal towns in this country have been um, forgotten in, in, in a certain sense. Um, so yeah, it gave me that opportunity to kind of write a play. This, this series of poems gave me an opportunity to write a play about uh, lots of different things um, and there is conflict there's conflict in the play and there's conflict in Carl um, and there's lots of it uh, for lots of different reasons so yeah I suppose he can be an outsider or someone who doesn't feel like he fits in but there's reasons for that it's not just kind of an outsider there's kind of like Nick said there's events in his life that have, that have either put him on the fringes or he's chosen to be on the fringes um, he's observant and he, he, he doesn't want to fit in, in ways. He doesn't want to be part of this um, society that he's kind of born into. Dan Park, who is playing Carl in Britannia Waves the Rules, is truly an exceptional young actor. It was a very bold decision to go with Dan, and the totally the right decision, of no doubt at all. What Dan gets for nothing is that rawness and that charm which you don't often see in a space anymore. Would it's you? a protest in as much as uh, a protest song is a protest yeah. about, about injustice and about the way we kind of uh, shouldn't forget anything that we do. We should never forget the things that we commit to as people or as a country or as a voting nation. We can't, we can't just ignore the decisions, the big, big decisions we make, and that is political. That's about politicians. Um, and I met Dan and went, whoa, hang on, what's this? Then he did the audition and he'd learnt it for the audition. Which I think I even said, didn't I, on the yeah. day, I said that doesn't happen and that's just incredible that he'd done that. He learnt it, he knew what he wanted, he'd mapped out a journey for it. His hunger for the part was yeah. truly 
um, it was kind of hard to resist, although that's not the only reason I did it. Um, and I think it could be a life changer, this, for that young man. And I've never seen a performance like this, it's certainly not in the Royal Exchange for many, 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 many years. You know, with such. The key to him, the key to him is that he's a lovely, lovely chap. But by God, he can go into some very, very dark places. And that's what we need from this character. And as I say, you know, it's, it's really important that we love him. And we don't, you know, we, we, when he's shooting and killing men, and going to such graphic places in this play, we still need to love him. And that's a hard quality. These words are weapons, and it demands to be heard by as many people as possible.